Welcome to this video tour and review of Norwegian Encore. It's John with Cruise Fever here, and today we're going to look at the final vessel in the Breakaway Plus class with Norwegian Cruise Line. This video tour will go deck by deck to show the go-kart track, the laser tag arena, the observation deck, and many other areas of this new innovative ship. We were on board Norwegian Encore during the inaugural visit in New York City, and we're going to start this tour on the pool deck and go deck by deck through the ship. Since I just sailed on Norwegian Escape a couple weeks ago, I might make a few comparisons between the two ships as we go through the video as well. There are two main water slides on the pool deck. This one is Aqua Racer, in which you go down on a tube, and on the other side is Ocean Loops, a more intense water slide that literally drops you and has you spinning around and ending in a splash. I really like the changes they made with Norwegian Encore compared to Escape. How they opened up the pool deck and it's a little more open and it's they have a bigger screen up as well instead of the two screens on either side of the pool there are 20 decks on norwegian encore this is deck number 17 with a jogging track there are also two hot tubs on either side You can see there are plenty of loungers on the pool deck and umbrellas for shade. This area of the ship really comes to life at night as well when the lights come on. So there are two pools, the main pool that you see here, and on the other side that we'll see in a minute is the kids pool for the kids aqua park. Surf bar is right off of the main pool deck and there's another bar on the other side next to the other pool. And while the kids cool off, you can play a couple games of ping pong right on the pool deck. This quick little time lapse will show you what the pool deck looks like at night. And this view of the ship is from deck 20. And from here, we're gonna check out Vibe Beach Club. There is an extra cost to visit this part of the ship. But once you pay that, you have complete access to it for the duration of the cruise and they only sell a limited number of these so if you like what you see uh, make sure you book that before you get on the ship or you can see if there's any slots available once you're on vibe beach club definitely has a relaxed resort kind of feel and here we are going up to the very top deck you have a mister to keep cool and plenty of loungers and space available to soak in some sun just forward of vibe beach club you will find the haven pictured here and we're going to take a look at some of the beautiful areas of the Haven, exclusive only for Haven guests. It is the ship within a ship experience. This area of the ship is the Haven Courtyard. And there's also a look here at the Haven Lounge. And now we'll take a look at one of the coolest things on the ship, the Encore Speedway. It is currently the largest go-kart track at sea. It hangs 13 feet over the side of the ship. This is where the basketball court was on Norwegian Escape. But it is a lot of fun to zip around this track on these electric cars. You can see some firsthand, the camera's kind of low, but it gives you an idea of the tight turns you take uh, along this racetrack. And you can see uh, where the drivers are currently in the race for the bystanders. One cool feature are these laser guns in the back of the ship where you can actually shoot the lights on the cars and it'll give them a little speed boost as they go down the track and you could actually compete against other people that are shooting at the lights. On deck 18 in the back of the ship, you'll find the laser tag arena. It is based on the lost city of Atlantis. It involves augmented reality with VR. It's just a really cool place to have some laser tag matches with your friends on the ship. This, along with the go-kart track, uh, do have an extra cost, but you can buy packages to make it cheap. Norwegian brought a ton of innovation and creativity to this part of the ship called Galaxy Pavilion. 
It is a VR paradise. There is virtual reality for all kinds of things. There has to be 20 to 30 different things you can try from VR mazes to going on a safari to racing cars and even a goalie that will block the ball as you kick it. Uh, just a lot of fun. It is an extra cost, but again, you could buy packages to play a lot of these games for less. And if you like escape rooms, you have got to try the escape room on Norwegian Encore. This thing is so tripped out with technology and creativity, you just have to try it. Just one deck below Galaxy Pavilion is Mandera Spa. So it is actually in the back of the ship as opposed to the front of the ship like it is on Norwegian Escape. You can see the barber shop and salon in this area. And I just love the thermal suite. A nice relaxing place with a wonderful therapy pool and heated stone loungers. Plenty of really plush padded loungers throughout this thermal suite. It's an area I always make sure I, I pay extra for access to this area if I don't have a spa suite already. There's a steam room and scenarium and a sauna. And if you get a little overheated, you want to cool down, you can go into Snow Paradise, where the temperature drops to 14 degrees. You can cool off and get refreshed, get the blood circulation going again. And this is the hydration station in the Thermal Suite. Always plenty of lemon and lime-infused water and oranges. And this is one of the nicest Thermal Suites I've seen on a ship. Just a really inviting space. We'll look at a couple of the treatment rooms for massage. And we'll check out Pulse Fitness Center, a really nice gym, all state-of-the-art, latest equipment, of course, since it is a newer ship. The gym is stocked with all kinds of equipment that you can use for working out, so I'll let you take a look at some of the things that they have there. And there's a room dedicated for spinning class as well, if you feel like torturing your legs on this cruise. We're back on deck number 17 to check out American Diner, a 50s diner. This is where Margaritaville is on Norwegian Escape. It is a specialty dining restaurant, as well as La Bistro, just not far, just around the corner from American Diner. This is the French specialty restaurant. This is the Garden Cafe on Norwegian Encore. I really like the open, clean layout, really great design as well. Very modern and inviting. And this is deck 16 forward, so it's not in the back like on some other ships. And I'll give you a view of some of the food and offerings at the buffet. Deck 15 forward is where you will find the observation lounge, my absolute favorite part of the ship. It is like one big living room with amazing views that wrap all around. There are places where you can get a snack or a bite to eat as well. And just great views out of the front of the ship from this area of the Observation Lounge. I love what they've done here, and I hope this is added to many more ships down the road. It's the perfect setting to relax, read a book, or just take in the views. Now we're moving down to some of the lower decks, 678 Ocean Place. Here's a little time-lapse tour to give you an overview of decks 6, 7, and 8 on Norwegian Encore. The waterfront is on deck number eight as we go down the ship. Another fantastic part of the ship that offers great views all around, plenty of comfortable seating. You can also get some alfresco dining at the various restaurants that we'll look at in just a minute. If you want some really good sushi on board, you can check out Food Republic where there's food from all over, from Peru, China, Japan. You just order it on that little tablet and they'll bring it out to you. Plenty of skylighting as well. And the district brew house is on the other side of the ship on deck number eight. You'll often find some piano entertainment here. And there's even a photo booth. You can put your picture on the wall. We are moving toward the back of the ship on deck number eight. And we will see the cavern here. This is where a lot of live music will take place. And there's also some outdoor seating as well on the waterfront. Maltings is the whiskey bar on board. And right next to that, is the Humidor Cigar Lounge. 
The Cellars is the wine bar on board, and it is right in front of the Italian restaurant, which could be one of the best restaurants in the fleet, Anda by Scarpetta. The pasta is made fresh every day. I had a sampling of it, and it was outstanding. Al Fresco Dining is also available for Anda, as well as Cagney's and Los Lobos that we'll see in just a minute. The Mojito Bar is midship, just near the chandelier on deck number eight. There's live music that takes place on that stage throughout the cruise as well. If you like seafood, Ocean Blue could be right up your alley. There is also al fresco dining available at the waterfront. Still here on deck number eight, just want to show you a quick view of some of the shops on board Norwegian Encore. The photo gallery is right next to all the shops where you can get all your cruise memories printed off. Dolce Gelato is where you can get some pastries or gelato, and they also serve Starbucks, by the way. We're going to look at the full-size Starbucks in just a minute. But first, we're going to look at this is the very back of the ship, and Cagney's is on one side, Los Lobos is on the other. This is the Mexican restaurant, and this area is Cagney's, the steakhouse on board. Now we're moving down to deck number seven, where there is the Manhattan room, the main dining room. Just see the beautiful decor, lots of natural light coming through those windows as well. And as we move forward on deck number seven, outside of the Manhattan room is the casino. You can see it passes around where the chandelier is there in the middle. And there's actually a non-smoking area, which is really nice. And I went in there and walked out and you could really tell the difference and it's nice they added this feature to a Norwegian Encore. You might notice some changes to Skyline Bar if you've been on Norwegian Escape or the other ships where some of the casinos kind of crept in. It's just this little area, really. Still have the bar area there and the large TVs. We see some of the slot machines right next to it. I really like the decor and the bright lighting they added to the atrium in this area of the ship. This is also where you can eat some food from the local bar and grill. This is the 24-7 complimentary restaurant. And here's a glimpse at the menu in case you wanna pause it and take a look at that. They added a little more seating in this area of the ship and it's nice and open. Again, I, like, I love the bright lights. And you'll see there's no arcade right there on the top right of your screen to the left of this screen. And we're gonna look at that. This is right behind the atrium We'll look at the full arcade on deck number five in just a minute. Deck seven forward is where you will find the beautiful theater on Norwegian Encore. They added an aisle all the way on the end, which I like, so you can get out and get in easier. You don't have to crawl all across the middle. The two shows are Choir of Man and Kinky Boots playing right now. And the box office is where you can make your reservations for those shows. And you can also use these touch screens throughout the ship to see what's going on. We had a chance to check out Q, the Texas Smokehouse on board. You can see the really cool decor. They really went with it, love it. And they have some live music that'll take place while you have your meal. Here's a little glimpse at the menu if you wanna see what kind of food you can get there. We are now down on deck number six where we're gonna check out a little bit more of the atrium and the areas right around it. Here is the cruise next desk and the guest services area. And an internet cafe. And how cool is it to have a full-size Starbucks right on your cruise ship? It's just right off the atrium, full-size menu as you see here. Plenty of options for you Starbucks lovers out there. So we are midship near the chandelier. And we're going to check out Coco's, where you can get some specialty chocolates and ice cream. Uh, plenty of really delicious desserts that you can buy here. It's a nice cafe setting, and this is where La Bistro was on Norwegian Escape. Right across from that is Social Comedy and Nightclub, where the comedians will perform. On either side of the stage are these really cool lounges as well. Some really interesting colors and decor. You can get some dinner and a show, some hibachi style at Teppanyaki. 
Always a fun experience. And moving aft on deck six, you'll pass by the art gallery and you'll see two other main dining rooms, Savor and Taste. These are complimentary and they have the same menu as you will find in the Manhattan room. I always enjoy eating in these dining rooms. It's a more intimate setting. And we're down on deck number five to check out the youth programs. Guppies is for children ages six months to just under three years. And Splash Academy is from three to 12. And the different age groups within Splash Academy will break up with different workers as well. Entourage is the teen lounge. You can see a really cool inviting space, plenty of TVs and places for them to play video games or pool or air hockey. And right next to the teen lounge is the video arcade. I'll let you take a look at some of the offerings they have there. I'm gonna end the video with a little tour of one of the cabins. This is on deck 14 and this is a mini suite balcony stateroom. The mini suites are slightly larger than the regular balcony room. See a nice long couch there and you'll see the bathroom's really nice. You've got the big long double sink and a really nice shower uh, with some extra shower heads. I think you have the main kind of rainfall shower head and then there's six other that come out from the wall if you want to use those as well. You might notice there are no shampoo bottles or soap bottles on the sink. There's plenty of soap and shampoo you could use right here in the shower in those containers, but none of the single-use plastics. This is part of Norwegian Cruise Line's EcoSmart cruising program to try to eliminate some of these single-use plastics. There's no plastic straws. There's not even any plastic water bottles. They have uh, something called Just Water, which is mostly plant-based or paper-based bottle, uh, so you can get water on board that way. I found there to be plenty of closet space and storage space in the cabin. I like that they have, I think it's about three outlets over the, the main desk there. And then on either side of the bed, there are USB outlets so you can charge your phone while you're sleeping. I want to thank you for getting this far in the video. I know we're about 18 minutes in or so. I appreciate your time. I hope I helped give you a general idea of what it's like to be on this amazing cruise ship. If you have any questions or comments, hey, snide remarks. I'll accept those too. I'm, I'm not perfect. I try <laughs> in these videos. I'm not a videographer, but I hope you had at least a sense of what it's like to be on board. Thanks again. If you like this video, you want to subscribe, that would not hurt my feelings. Cruise on, everybody. And remember, there is no cure for cruise fever, so you might as well just enjoy it.